really good to be liberal with the so sugar. They're all coated and you can see them running around in there. So what we're going to be doing here uh, is we're actually looking for a parasitic mite called Varroa destructor. It's an invasive parasite uh, in Europe. Um, and how we find them is that we actually coat the bees in powdered sugar um, and that loosens the mites and they, they fall off. It looks like it hurts, but it, it actually doesn't. All of them are, are pretty fine. Their wings are fine, their legs are fine. When I, we put them back in the colony, their sisters clean them off uh, and then they can go back to their work as usual. They eat the sugar, yeah, yeah they, they take it with them. So they get a free snack. Varroa destructor. Det låter brutalt, och det är det också. Dessa kvalster sprider virussjukdomar till bina och de flesta samhällen går under om de inte får behandling. Men en del bisamhällen har naturlig motståndskraft mot varroa. Vad är deras knep? Genom att härma binas beteende hoppas Melissa och hennes kollegor att de kan ta reda på det. Yeah, this is to mimic um, a hygienic behavior that I'm tracking in uh, the Gotland population here actually that is naturally adapted to the mite and can survive without treatment, which is a very unique ability in European bees. Not all bees can do this. So the, uh, the Gotland bees we have here in Sweden are very special, uh, and they're the bees that I'm studying. So that what they'll do is they'll actually take the cap off the cell, um, but then they actually cover it back up. They don't remove the, the brood, which is what people were thinking that they did. They do a little bit of that, but they're actually, I think, more attuned to just opening the cell, creating that disturbance, and then capping it back. But that's what we're testing, to see if that actually does have an effect on reproductive success of the mite, and if it could act to control the population enough that the bees don't need to be treated with uh, chemicals or organic acids. Och det är till detta experiment som de samlar in varroa kvalster. När de har fått loss dem från bina, sköljer de bort sockret och lägger dem i en burk. Sen tar de försiktigt upp ett litet hål och för in varroakvalstret i cellen. Och nu kan de följa hur de förökar sig där inne. Um, and what we're, we're trying to find are traits that, that have been um, basically favored by natural selection um, so that we can learn exactly how the bees are adapting to the parasite and use that in future breeding programs. Um, so usually natural selection will lead to kind of the most uh, economical and the most efficient way to control uh, things like parasites. Um, so we're kind of working in tandem with nature. 